Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from the book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, and I will read it. It says, For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit, of joint and marrow, and it and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intent of the heart. The word of God is not some lifeless set of letters that you find on a piece of paper. No, it is living and it speaks to the human condition of every generation. The word of God is not just for our information, but it's for our transformation. It will change your life. The word of God is powerful. That is, it is active. It is working. It is energizing the heart of the believer and convicting the heart of the unbeliever. The word of God is sharper, it says here, than a two-edged sword. Have you ever seen this series? I think it's called Fortune Fire. And then the one guy will say, it will cut. The word of God will cut. It is penetrating and convicting. You can't ignore it. Have you ever been in a, in a worship service or been in church? And as the pastor is preaching, you feel like the pastor is beating you up? Then good. Then that means he is preaching the word of God. And the Holy Spirit is using that word to convict, to convert, and to convince. The word of God will find you out. I to say that people have about as much of the word as they want because you can. the word of God will expose your mess. <laughs> the word of God is piercing, that it goes right through the soul and the spirit of a person. The, like a sword pierces even to notice joint and marrow. That is, it'll separate the proud from the humble. It'll separate the sinful from the righteous, the rebellious from the obedient, the unbelieving from the believing. The word of God, notice it says that it discerns the thoughts and the intent that is the purpose of the heart. And what does discern mean? Discern means that it, it, it will judge, it will sift, it will analyze that the word of God, it penetrates to the uh, for the most, uh, uh, our furthermost being of our existence. That is, that it knows our very thought and the intent of our heart. I've heard people say from time to time that you know, well, God knows my heart. Ooh, you should be concerned that God knows your heart. For the Bible says that our heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? God knows it. So thank God for the word of God. For inside of us, apart from Christ, there is no good thing within us. But the word of God can certainly clean us up. The word of God can certainly build us up. The word of God can certainly point us to Christ, can lead us to an understanding of who God is. Not only do we know about God through his word, but we know God. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would have a wonderful day as you go throughout your day. Uh, this day, and I, and, and I pray that you be safe. Tune in again tomorrow as we consider today's verse.